For many people, taking part in activism is a choice, something they can choose to do or not to do. But for Marsha P. Johnson, a low-income, black, trans woman from New Jersey, campaigning for LGBTQ rights was a necessary, lifelong battle. Born in 1945 and assigned male at birth, Marsha felt female all her life. Sadly, her family did not accept her identity. So after graduating from high school, Marsha moved to New York City. She dressed in women's clothing and gave herself the name Marsha P. Johnson. The P stood for pay it no mind, a phrase she adopted as her life's motto. To survive, Marsha earned money as a sex worker. It was dangerous, but one of the few options available to her as a trans woman. In 1969, she was a key figure in the Stonewall Uprising, a spontaneous and violent response by the LGBTQ community against police brutality and widespread discrimination at a time when homosexuality and homosexual acts were illegal in the United States. Marsha participated in protests, marches, rallies, and sit-ins championing LGBTQ plus rights. In 1970, she co-founded STAR, an organization that provided care for homeless transgender youth, the first of its kind. For her tireless activism, Marsha became known in the LGBTQ plus community as Saint Marsha. She was a neighborhood celebrity, known for her generosity, positivity, and style. But Marsha continued to face immense challenges. She was frequently arrested for violating discriminatory anti-LGBTQ plus laws, was often homeless, and experienced violence through her activism and her sex work. In 1992, her body was found in the Hudson River. The cause of her death remains unknown, but friends and family believe she was murdered just for being herself. How do LGBTQ plus activists continue to make change today? 